This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. All right, so I was going to talk a little bit about a topic that, that we might not think about, or we might not see these patients all the time, but it's something to kind of uh, refresh ourselves on with uh, hemophilia. So, um, you know, hemophilia is obviously a pretty serious bleeding disorder, and um, there's two kinds of hemophilias, hemophilia A and hemophilia B, and it doesn't really matter for the management, but hemophilia A is a deficiency of factor eight, and hemophilia B, also known as Christmas disease, is a deficiency of factor nine. So it's just two different clotting factors that they're deficient in. So, um, you know, there's different kinds or different uh, degrees of the hemophilia. Uh, it is an X-linked recessive disease, so kind of like color blindness, which I have. Um, it affects mostly males and it runs in families, um, but there can be spontaneous cases of it. Most of the times these people are diagnosed as pretty young children because they either runs in the family or they get diagnosed as children. So we're not usually making the diagnosis, um, but sometimes patients will come in and they'll be known hemophiliacs and they'll have a bleeding problem. So uh, there's different degrees of the severity. Some patients have mild disease, but most patients who have hemophilia actually have severe disease where they actually have less than 1% of the factor that's affected. So most patients who have hemophilia really have the disease. They can get spontaneous bleeds like uh, hemarthrosis, bleeding into the joints is some of the most common bleedings that hemophiliacs have, uh, but they can also have spontaneous or very mild trauma, CNS bleeds, head bleeds, they can have GI bleeds, um, and obviously they don't stop bleeding once they start bleeding without treatment. Um, the treatment is interesting. It depends on what kind of bleeding they have, like whether how severe it is, and then it's giving back their factors. So if it's a severe bleed, they basically need 100% of their factor given back. Um, and there's formulas for that, um, like factor eight, you get two units per kilogram of the um, factor, whereas if it's uh, hemophilia B, you just get one unit per kilogram. But I don't think we need to really know that. We just need to look it up. Um, so if it's severe bleeding, they need all their factor back to them. If they're more minor cases of bleeding, there's charts that tell you exactly how much factor. Like if it's bleeding into the joint, they get 50% of their factor back. And the treatment is, like I said, it's the factor, which comes as a recombinant factor. It's very expensive, um, but you know, there's either factor eight that you just give patients or factor nine that you give patients. So if we see these patients, we need to think about getting them treated early. They actually say like, if you have somebody with hemophilia um, who comes in with head trauma and you think it's a bleed, you don't even wait for the CT. You just give them their factor back because they bleed so quickly, so badly. Um, so just something to be aware of. It's not something we see all the time, but just something to remember that if we see hemophiliacs and they're bleeding, we need to get on their factors very early. Any questions, comments? Thanks, guys. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.